if you know how to preach and to do miracles in this world, you also have to know how to translate what you have learned in this life to the next life. Jesus knows how to translate what he knows in this world to govern the matters in heaven. If you do God's work here on earth without knowing the operations of the heavenly beings and God in heaven, you will only be given a certificate of accomplishment in heaven, but not a full diploma. Know how to interlink both realms together. You have to link both heaven and earth together. Just, that, just like when you're in heaven, you will still be helping your fellow men back on earth. When you're ministering on earth, do not only allow the anointing to flow through you without understanding the operations in heaven. You should be able to interlink earth and heaven. But again, I say in another manner, those who know how to serve God on earth, but do not know how to serve God in heaven, which is a different world, they are hypocrites. If you know how to serve God on earth, you should be able to translate what you know to serve God in heaven when you have died and when you're in heaven. If not, when you're in heaven, you will still require a supervisor in heaven. When you begin the meeting, brothers and sisters, greet them in my name. Even the Lord Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. If you accept this, of which I hope you do accept, God has used me to baptize you so that you can receive truth and the power of the Holy Spirit through me. I say it again. I hope you can accept this, that the Lord has already used me to baptize you so that you can receive the truth and the power of the Holy Spirit through me. Do you accept this? The Son of God gave His truth and power through Paul to those seven men being baptized by Him. If God has given me a long time here on earth, God has commanded you to serve Him together with me. God has never assigned people to live Peter, Moses, unless they die. I will continue to point you to the Father and to the Son only. I will not hesitate to decrease myself in order to bring you into Christ's presence. On the contrary, whoever can prophesy and do miracles, you prophesy and do miracles in my meetings. And whoever can preach, they preach. I do not hesitate to decrease myself to bring you to where Christ wish you to be. So what Christ wish you to become? If he has called you to prophesy and to do miracles, I have decreased myself to allow you to do that. If Christ has called you to preach, you preach. You who believe in Christ Jesus also believe in me. And if you believe in me, you would have also believed in Christ. It is similar that in the absence of the Son, God sent Moses to the believers, such that whoever trusts in God should trust in Moses. Whoever does not trust in Moses and Paul does not trust in Christ. Not that they are the Christ, but you know that their message points people to Christ, the truth. And they lead you not to them, but to God, the only source of salvation. Not that Moses and Paul are Christ, but their message is the truth. And they do not lead you to them, but to Christ, the only source of salvation. The truth is that God and Christ Jesus can never be separated. God will call you to be a chief servant if possible. And the truth is that Christ 
and his chief servants can never be separated as well. Christ did not write any of the books in the Bible. It's written by his uh, servants. They and the Son can never be separated, for the Son is in them. You who believe in Christ also believe in me. You have known my lifestyle and my teachings. Someday, Christ will use you because I do not point you to myself, but to the Son of God. Never be a stay-at-home Christian. God looks around the whole world. He is asking, whom shall I send? There is harvest everywhere. It's been my great joy and pleasure to have known you. I never thought in my life that I will see you and I will have to release you to Christ Jesus' authority. Some have the authority to nurture others to become a pastor, while others have the authority to nurture others to become a prophet. It's time that you're aware that Elijah mowed Elisha up. And Elisha and Elijah is part of the two olive trees. And Elisha became part of the two olive trees. Some nurture others to a pastor, while others nurture others to become a prophet. There are others whom can nurture you to become an olive tree. This is what Christ Jesus, or rather this is what God has allowed us to believe is that out of the 12 apostles, there are three chief servants, Peter, James, and John. My sincere prayer is that God will make you into an olive tree. It is a difficult thing to achieve. I, I can't imagine somebody walking through the wilderness for 40 days to go to Mount Horeb. Stay in God's mind. All right. Do not leave the meeting when you cannot do the things God has wished you to do yet.